Hey guys, Baby Britt here on my channel, Britt Scott Style, with a space. I'm pretty sure when you punch it in, it has a space, right? Right. <laughs> um, today I'm going to be showing you guys my sneaker collection. Um, I'll go into, de into some depth on some of them, but I'm recording this off of an iPhone, so I can only guess, I guess I can only go up to 10 minutes on this unless I use my laptop. It's actually my mom's, because I had an old laptop, laptop, I got a virus, so I'm kind of borrowing hers. So... Let's get started, shall we? Yeah, we shall. So I went. I actually went to the outlets yesterday. I went up to um, New York City. It took it was a long drive. It was a nice little trip with my sister, her boyfriend, and my niece and nephew, um, and all that. So I'll show you that one soon, and I'll let you know. And I have something with it to show you too. So let's get started. Um, I'm gonna get started with the ones I have boxes for. Um, I have boxes for one, two, three, four. Actually, it's five. I have one of the boxes, but it's downstairs. But all the rest, uh, I keep on a shoe rack or under my dresser. So, I'm going to get into showing you these ones. So these are some Vans. Obviously, you guys can see that. And I'll let you guys look at this, I guess. You can see the size. I'm different sizes than some shoes, like a lot of people are. Like, some shoes fit differently. But I'm mostly a five and a half or a six in most shoes. High tops, I could be a seven. Um, six and a half, seven. So yeah, I just gotta try them all on. That's why well, I don't really order online. I always like to go to Foot Locker or to whatever place I'm going to to get my shoes. I shop more so at a store called Burlington. You can find them. It's kind of like a Marshalls type store. Where you can find like deals on shoes. Um, they don't come with the boxes though, which kind of sucks. But they have good deals. They're brand new shoes. They're not second hand or anything. Um, or I would like I go to a store called Journeys or like sometimes to the outlets with my sisters and stuff. So yeah, um, the first pair of shoes are my Vans, like I said. These are checkered slip-on Vans. I've actually only worn them one time. And yeah, they have like a yellowish tint. Some people think it's because it's dirty. No, it's actually made like that. It was actually yellowish tint. And I didn't like these at first, but they kind of grew on me and I like them. But one thing is, um, I feel dumb. What kind of socks are you supposed to wear with these guys? Are you supposed to wear like low socks? But I also see some people wear high socks. Which, which is better to wear with these type of shoes? Or are you supposed to wear no socks? But I know that will make them smell. I mean, even though everybody's foot sweats, so I mean, I don't know. Comment below if you guys know. Um, not exactly a sneakerhead, but I do have a lot of shoes and I like to collect them sometimes. So yeah. So these are my bands. Um, and I really like these shoes. They're just really comfy and they look nice and you don't gotta tie your shoes all the time. Yeah. So that's those. Um, I got these on a sale for only $44 instead of $50. Um, and where I live, there's tax, so, yeah. You gotta have tax, so it's just a good deal with that. Um, the next pair of shoes I have are, these ones I just got recently from a friend, and they only wore it one time. Their mom, it was their mom, mom's shoes, and they wore it one time, they didn't fit. Um, and they happen to be my size. They're a little dot tight, but they are my size. So these are Pumas. You got the box even for it. Uh, these are a size five and a half. They're the pink wave ones. Puma Woman's Pulse Power XT Fracture White Charcoal five and a half. Um, I don't really collect Pumas. I had one pair of Puma in my life. They were these purple ones. I don't know. I don't have them anymore. But these really look cool. They remind me of like an Air Max style. And she only wore them once. So they're in great condition. And I wore them only once so far too. Uh, but I was wearing them around a mall the other day, so yeah, for breaking them in, it's not really great to walk around a mall for like two hours. <laughs> so my toe was hurting. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. They're black and white. It's got the little Puma thing. Puma logo. Just, they just look really nice. I don't know. I just really like them. I just love the looks of them. I don't know. I only paid 30 for, for, for them from my friend's mom. So yeah. Well, that was a good deal. Pumas. I think she paid 50 and only charged me 30 so. She couldn't, she said she couldn't send them back for some reason. I don't know. Whatever place she got it from, you couldn't send them back. The next pair of shoes I got are a pair of Jordans. Um, they're size 6 in men's, or in young youth men's or whatever. These, I, these I only spent, uh, 50, no, sorry, $45. And where I went, there was tax, so, so it was like 40 some, 30 something or 40 something, and with tax altogether, it came to $45. Um, 
And I got these at the outlet, so they were just so cheap. And normally these shoes, it says, are usually $85. So, elsewhere. So, yeah, I got these at the Nike outlet, though. And there was a good sale that time. And I got them in September. So, here they are. I love these. They're not high tops, but they're not low either. They're the mid ones. So, they're just really, really nice. I've worn them only, like, two times so far. I just love these so much. I use them more for just keeping them in the box. I know it's dumb, but I love these shoes so much. Um, they're black, but they love the red how they put the logo red in some of the seam, and all the rest is just black and then white. Bottoms, black. These are just really nice shoes. And for the price, really great. I love these. And when I went, I went to the outlets that I actually went to yesterday to get the shoes I'll show you soon. And these are just nice. Came with the Jordan sticker, of course, which I put on my PlayStation 3. <laughs> um, and these are just really really nice shoes and uh, when I went that day I also got two Tommy Hilfiger shirts I got me in a Tommy Hilfiger so yeah so nice um but yeah it's those I even saw the receipt in there oh I forgot the receipt actually says they were $44 but I gave them $44.99 I gave them $45 so yeah not bad for those Jordans nice pickup the next pair of shoes are the ones I got yesterday, and I'm going to show you. Of course, I got the box. I got them at the Nike Outlets. It's really weird. These are my first pair, I'm just going to tell you, of Hirachis, but you don't know which color, which kind, all that kind of stuff. These are my first ever ones, and it's really, really weird because these are women's... Let me see. Let me check just to make sure. I'm pretty sure these are women's. It doesn't even say on the thing, on the side or anything, but they, they ran really weird for me for some reason. And I'm usually a five and a half or a six, and in high tops, possibly a seven. But it's weird. Hirachis are kind of narrow-ish, and it's really weird. Even the guy said this is weird. I'm a seven in them, so I'm wondering if these are women's or what. Does, I mean, I think they're women's. It doesn't say on the side. It says these are normally eighty-five dollars. I paid sixty-nine ninety-nine. Of course, plus tax. Cause where I went, there was tax. Um. So uh, I got those, but I'll show you really quick something else I got. I also got some Nike socks. They're a little expensive, but they're 25% off, $12.99. Um, so I got some Nike socks, but these ones are cool because I got blue ones, ones with the blue logo, ones with like a pinkish logo, and one with a gray logo. So yeah, I got those. So the shoes I got are some Hirachis, and these are the red ones. They're red, like they're a maroon type color. Let me see what it says. It says on the side. But these are Nike Nike Hirachi Run, and then in the parentheses, GS, like it always says. Um, and then um, they're Noble Red ones. That they're called Noble Red. And these are just really nice. I haven't even worn them yet. I just tried them on to make sure they fit. What was that? I really like these. For fir first pair of Roshis, I love the color. It was between this or a green one, and I didn't really like green that I seen at the outlet. I love these. I love these. It took me a lot of choosing to see what shoe I was going to buy yesterday, and a pair of shoes, and these just happened to come out. I had $100 to spend on shoes, so I picked ones that were only $69.99. There were these, or there was a lot of other ones, but these just became the ones I wanted to take home. They told me to take them home, and I did. It's funny how I wear a red shirt, too. It will look good with, with this shirt, actually. Nice outfit. Get some uh, black pants to go with it or something. But these are really nice. I, oh, I know I keep talking about them, but like these are just really nice. First pair of Hirachis, I just love the thing in the back. I never, I didn't like Hirachis when, Hirachis when they first came out, um, when I first started like really seeing them everywhere. Then they kind of grew on me and I think when they came out with more colors, colors, color schemes of them, I started liking them more, so. Yeah, those are my Hirachis. Um, so yeah, that's all the ones I got in the boxes, guys. The next pair of shoes I guess I will show you are these ones. These are my Jordans. These are not in the box. But uh, these are like a mesh type one. Mesh colored one. Um, they're like, in camera they look kind of orange. But they're like a really light type of red. And these were like $40 I believe at Burlington. And they're a 5.5 in young boys. Or sorry, not 5.5. 6 in boys. Um, I was looking at the UK version thing on the tag. But yeah, these I wore kind of a good amount of times and I keep them pretty clean. I like them. They're very comfy and they look nice. And yeah. My Jordans. I don't know exactly which ones these are, but they look sort of like Eclipse. I don't know. The next pair of shoes I got are some Roshis. My only pair of Roshis. I like these ones because they're more 
They are more, like, unique because they got, like, designs on them. They're not just, like, black or white or whatever. They have designs and reminds me of me, Queen Baby Brit, like, how, who I am. I got It's got a little crown somewhere here, right there on the back. I just love it. Love it, love it. And it's got, like, a little emoji type thing. There's the crown again. Little devil looking emoji thing. And just really cool. And they're a little dirty. Not too bad on the bottom, but, like, just a little bit. Um, but I keep them in good condition and I do wear these a lot. So, of course, I like red shoes. Sooner or later, I'm going to get a baby bear, oh my god, not baby bear, baby blue um, pair of shoes eventually, because I just love that color, but I've never had a, really had a pair of shoes that were total baby blue. Like, they have a pair of uh, Jordan Retro ones, and they're baby blue, and they're just all baby blue and a little bit of white, and it's just, they look nice. I'm not sure exactly what they're called exactly, but yeah. Let me take you guys with me quick so I can show you the rest of my shoes. Uh, I'm not going to, like, go too into depth, but uh, I got some Osiris's here. They're not as popular of a shoe anymore, but these are my, like, newest ones I ever bought, and I don't think they're the last ones I'll ever buy, because there's not really that many out anymore, and I don't really like them as much anymore. But these ones I happen to see, so I got them as a Christmas gift, and I actually do like them. Um, and I wear them every once in a while, and I keep them pretty clean. They're from a store called Burlington, which I keep saying. Good deal, it's just snowshoe boxes you get with them. Um, and they're brand new, of course, when I get them. Um, over here we got a pair of emoji sneakers, uh, these are five dollars to five and below, just really cool because I like emojis, like, duh. <laughs> a next, another pair of shoes I got are down here, these are just some galaxy print ones, they're not really a brand or anything, but they were like twelve bucks, but they're just cool with the print. Uh, you don't always have to go for brands, guys, sometimes you can just go with some cool print, you know, I do that sometimes. The next pair of shoes are and ones, they're kind of dirty, I use them for basketball, playing in the summer. I just really like the color of the laces, and they really go good with the blue for some reason. These are actually a pair of blue shoes I got, guys, but they're not baby blue. Yeah. Um, those are also from Burlington for, like, those were, like, pretty cheap. They're, like, 25 bucks, I think. Not bad. Uh, over here, we got some Air Force uh, Nikes. They kind of fit me. They're actually a tad too big, and I actually found these at a garage sale. Yeah, garage sale for like three bucks, but they're a little dot big. I might sell them eventually. They're a little dirty, but not too bad. Might sell them, I don't know, for like 20 bucks, something like that. 25 even. These are just Levi's, they're work shoes. Um, Yeah, these are just my Levi's, they're just work shoes. They're nice though, just nice for work shoes, you know, for jobs and stuff like that. We're looking casual, whatever. Up here we got a pair of Nike books, if you heard of them, they're kind of older. And I also have some, like, writing. I have people write in the notebook part years later. But for being, like, really old, they're actually not in bad condition. They still kind of fit me. Um, and they were just really cool when I was in middle school to wear these. Yeah, middle school. They're getting wearing out here, worn out. But I actually wear these every once in a while still. And I changed the laces to gold once the white pair of laces got ruined. And then I got straps up here. Um, and it says right on the side, knife book. Really nice, though. Um, these are a pair of LeBrons. Oh, and those were from Foot Locker, by the way. These are a pair of LeBrons, and they are... I copped them at a, at a thrift store. Yes, I got them at a thrift store. And they're actually in good condition for me at a thrift store. Eight bucks, and they're my size, exactly. And they fit really well. They're size five in U.S., but since they're boys, you know, guy ones, they tend to be a little um, bigger. So if I'm a size, like, six in boys, or in girls, they would be, like, size seven. Like, oh, my God, I'm confusing myself. But you get what I mean, I think. So five, and yours are, like, five and a half. Or, uh, five and a half, since he's run bigger. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was confusing myself there. I gotta get some new laces eventually. These are kind of ripping. But, yeah. Those are all the ones on my shoe rack. Down here, we got some older Osiruses. Uh, these are silver ones. They're kind of cool. They come with extra laces. These ones I don't really wear. They're just memory-wise. I kept, I threw a lot of my memory shoes away, except for these in the night books. But, these are dusty and kind of old, and I don't wear them. <laughs> um, Timberland boots. And those are all from Journeys. Timberland boots, a thrift store, like five bucks, eight bucks, something like that. And they're good for winter. Tim's, some vans I got at Journeys for school when I was in like 10th grade. I am out of high school since 2016. I got out of high school. Uh, I graduated 2016, is what I mean. And these are my vans, my other pair of vans. Okay condition, just the side or the bottoms got the van thing off. Some DCs, skateboarding shoes, good for like biking, skateboarding, stuff like that. Um, just kind of look cool, mint green. I got them for Christmas a, a while ago as a gift for my mom. These are Under Armors I got from my grandma. They're from, or well, I went to pick them up my grandma because I was on the basketball team, and I wore these for the basketball team that I was on for a year at school. It was a United basketball team, so it wasn't too, like, it wasn't too, um, 
competitive, but it wasn't like not competitive e competitive either. But it was pretty fun, and I got like a trophy when I was done and everything. Pretty fun. Basketball is just fun to play in the summer, mostly for me. I'm not a career type thing for me. These would look good with the shirt too. Mm. But they're not that dirty. These were like 60 bucks. My grandma got them for me, and you know she passed away, so they're really nice. I'm just gonna keep them forever, just because. <laughs> um, just because she got them. And the next thing are my slides or and ones. More and ones. There's and one slides. Only pair of slides I actually own. Got them from Walmart. Yeah, 12 bucks or something like that. Like 12 bucks, I think. And they're just nice. I use them mostly, like all the time. I actually use these to take the dog out Ugh, because I don't feel like putting my sneakers on. I just wear these a lot, and they're nice for the summer. You wear socks and sand, socks and slides. I wear socks with these, yeah. Except when I take my dog out, I don't. Um, I got some Converse's. These are really dirty, pretty beat up, but they're okay still to wear, I guess. Um, but yeah, they have crosswords on the side. I mean, they're not that dirty. They're just more beat up, I guess. But yeah, crossword ones. And these I got from Journeys. Um, and the last pair of shoes I'm gonna show you that I have are. These Osiris's, um, and that's all, well, like I said, I'm not really collecting the Osiris's anymore, but they used to be really popular, I used to really like them for the, the color scheme. Um, uh, the newest Osiris's I have are these ones I got for Christmas, and more than likely the last pair of Osiris's I will ever buy, sadly, because they don't really make them anymore either, so, I don't know. Um, so yeah, those are those, and they're not too bad condition, just a little bit dirty. Those are the ones I might sell, but I'm keeping all the rest of my Osiris's. I might sell these for like 20 bucks, literally, um, someone, who knows. Um, oh, and over there I got some Minion slippers. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that is all the shoes that I own in my collection. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sub if you are new. Should I use a selfie stick for this? Yeah, it's dumb, but it actually would have worked good for this video. But yeah, um, I'm dumb, I guess. Ooh. Also, I have one more pair of something I will show you. I have some bear paws. They're black. They're the mid ones that go up to here, not all the way up. Um, but they're, yeah, I got those for Christmas from my sister, and I actually really like those, so... Now that is all the shoes I own. Sneakers slash shoes and boots. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye guys, see you next time for my next video. Peace.